Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. This is one of my infamous tuck and fold boxes. So you don't need any glue or anything like that. It just tucks away. And this one holds eight Yankee candles. So I have got dark green ones in here. Actually, I should probably put the dark green ones in the other one that's coming. But anyway, these are the dark green. These are, oh, Christmas garland. Love that fragrance. I don't have real Christmas trees in my house. Um, I've got some, I've got cats. They eat them. Um, so yeah, I tend to burn. This is my favourite fragrance to burn, to get the sort of kind of the smell of Christmas. But yeah, Christmas garland. But I also like icy blue spruce. Not that I have a blue spruce. Anyway, so I'm going to show you how to make this. And you need a piece of cardstock that is. 11 by six and a quarter inches, which in metric is 28 by 16 centimeters. Okay, so I'm gonna get my simply scored out. And on the long side, where's my stylus? On the long side, score it at three and a quarter, four and three quarters. eight and nine and a half inches looking at my notes so in metric that's eight twelve twenty and twenty four and then on the short side score it at one and a half and four and three quarters which in metric is four and twelve okay so there are bits that are going to tuck away and bits we're going to get rid of but let's burnish these score lines first garden green this one because we're using the 12 hidings paper now before I carry on you will have seen that the retiring list has come out year end close out has started so stuff is selling out there are some things that are going to carry over there are also some things that are sort of going to they're going to go on time out and they're going to come back next autumn winter catalogue and the 12 hidings paper is one of those that's coming back in uh, September 2019, 2020 even, that's coming back, the Merry Moose Punch and Stamps, the Brightly Gleaming Ornaments, uh, Ornament Punches, and I think the stamps, they're coming back. I've got a little box for the stuff. Um, the, did I say Moose? Moose is First Frost Paper, Gather Together's coming back, um, the Product Medley is coming back, and the advent calendar that's coming back so you can't once they've gone now they'll be gone until september next year so they're not carrying over in the usual sense as in you can continue buying them then like i say they're going on time out okay so i wanted to remember to say that while i could oh and the jingle bells of all things right so you've got if you hold it this way round, you've got a section a big section small big small small this is the bit where you're going to cut away the outer corners. So look for squares, not rectangles, in the outer corners. And that's what you're going to tuck away. Tuck away, cut away. <laughs> that's all the cutting we're doing. So we're just going to go like that over the shoulder. Right, and I'm going to bring back my stylus now. Because we've still got four squares. We're going to put a diagonal line there, there, there and there. And they're going to point towards this centre square. So as you can see, there isn't one up here. It's these four. So grab a steel rule. And by the fact that it's a square in the middle, it's a three inch. No, it's three and a quarter inch square in the middle. And you can just go like that. We've got two small lines there. And do the same opposite. So there we go, you can hopefully see those lines. But, whoops, that's why I drop everything. So these fold in and grab your bone folder, fold in and out. So yeah, fold in and out, fold in and out. 
and then fold in and out. Okay, and so it will all come together like that. You might feel you need to do another bit of a burnish on here because we're now going two layers of cardstock in order for it to stick together. I need to find those corners before I push it in and then get it stuck and I can't get it back out again. Detail Trio Punch. Okay, so what's going to happen is you're going to put your goodies in there and it's going to fold round and tuck in. And like I say, before I put my DSP on, I might, it might want to have another little bit of a burnish. No, we're good. We're all good. So, DSP, three by three inches. So yeah, the finished dimensions of the box, um, it is three and a quarter, I'll show you on this one, three and a quarter by three and a quarter by one and a half, which in metric is eight by eight by four centimetres. Okay, so, looking for my snail. So this goes on the end where there isn't, that's the bit that you're tucking into, so not that end, this one. And obviously make sure your bunnies and foxes and bears and deer are all facing the right way up. Okay, grab your candle. So I am a bit of a Yankee Candle fan, um, but obviously I've put my garland, my Christmas garland fragrance in there. So I've got vanilla lime, quite a pungent smell, and you can fit eight of these in. So you get them in boxes of 12. So if you had two boxes, you're going to get two boxes of these. You're going to get three gifts out of it because obviously I'm leaving four behind and another box with the same amount in, you're going to do the same. These, although these are Yankee candles, you can fit Ikea candles in here, no problem. Um, other cup candles, because I know there are other brands out there, and I've got friends who hand make candles themselves, and they pour theirs into the plastic cups, and they will fit as well. Okay. All in there, and then I've got the matching ribbon from the same suite. It is called double stitched ribbon. Mm, I like that. And actually, this time round, I'm going to cross it and make it like a little parcel. Or I'm going to do my best attempt at it. Oh, oh, I guess I need to sort my scissors out. I thought I cleaned these the other day, although I do believe small children have been wrapping Christmas gifts with them, obviously. Did you see my video the other week of, of expectation versus reality, sort of, my reality of wrapping a Christmas present? <laughs> so many of you were like, yeah, that's me too. I'm glad I'm not alone. I love to wrap Christmas presents. I just have so many of them that I can't do this sort of amazingly artistic stuff. I just wrap, stick, go. But yeah, so many of you agreed and said, yep, you're the same. You make boxes and gifts like this for, for presents, but not necessarily the using wrapping paper. So thank you for going along with me. Okay, let's get a stamp image on here. Greatest part of Christmas. This is the one I used before. And it works really well with this punch. But I'm wondering, I'm looking over at my shelves. I quite like this shape. I think I might stick with it, but it's kind of, here's the new year bringing happy beginnings. Ooh, well, we're going for a Christmas gift, but I wonder if that would fit. Yeah, maybe a, mm. I'm gonna stick with the same one because I know it works, I know it fits and I rather like it. So that is, Golden green and possibly the biggest piece of <laughs> very vanilla ever, but that's okay. And it does fit so well. And then, of course, the beautifully glittery rhinestones that go with the whole suite. And I'm going to take the biggest ones 
I wonder if these are coming back. I need to look. I don't know that they are. So sad. Loved these. And then a couple of dimensionals. And I'm going to put these in the middle because there is going to be a little bit of overlap on here. And that means the ribbon can still move freely. I think they're rather lovely. I might give these to Jacob and Oliver's teachers because, you know, it's that, <laughs> it's that time. Um, they finish school at the end of next week. So I think they would be good. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.